welcome to all today we are going to study about the mcqs based on the ecology part 2 we are discussing very important questions for the neat aims etc first question is that gross primary productivity that is the gpp gpp minus the respiration losses minus the respiration losses r means the loss which occur during respiration is called so we know very well in ncert it is clearly mentioned that gpp that is the gross primary productivity minus the respiration losses that gives out to be npp net primary productivity okay so the answer must be net primary productivity that is npp so the question number 1 is having the answer d is it clear very important question second one approximately what amount of energy is available to one tropic level from one level lower to it now we know very well that these are the tropic levels t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 these are the tropic levels and i have written the energy levels now we know very well that in ncert we study 10% right law of lindman which says and suggest that only 10% of the energy from the lower tropic level goes to the upper tropic level okay say for if this is having the if this tropic level t1 is having the 100% energy then the 100% energy will not move to the next tropic level only 10% of the 100% will move to the next tropic level so the 10% of the 100% is 10% now at the another level 10% uh, of this 10% and the 10% of the 10% is 1% now another time 10% only so the 10% of 1% is 0.1% and similarly the 10% of the 0.1% is 0.01% means 10% law of lindman is applicable that is from each tropic level only 10% of the energy is transferred from the lower tropic level so approximately what amount of energy is available to one tropic level from one level lower to it from one level lower to it so that is 10% because here 10% law of lindman is applicable so question number 2 is having the answer b now acclimatization is very very popularly used term in the ecology what is acclimatization acclimatization is the adaptation of the organism to the new environment what is acclimatization it is the adaptation of the organism to the new environment say for if we are going to the mountains so we feel nausea heart palpitations occur but within a few couple of minutes we become acclimatized or we can say it is we become adapt to the new environment so this adaptation to the new environment is called as acclimatization so the question number 3 is having the answer d okay so this is d mass of living matter at tropic level in an area at any time is called as now there are two close options one is known as the standing state and one is the standing crop because the students are confused in between two terms so i have given the hint of standing state also and standing crop also first of all you must know that what is a standing state it is the amount of the nutrients it is the amount of the nutrients present in the soil at a given time amount of the nutrients present in the soil at a given time say for calcium phosphorus etc okay and what is standing crop each tropic level has a certain mass of living material at a particular time what i have said each tropic level has a certain mass of it is clearly mentioned in ncert that each tropic level has a certain mass of living material at a particular time and it is defined as standing crop so what was the question mass of the living material see here mass of the living material at a tropic level in an area at a given time is called as so definitely the answer will be standing crop not the standing state so the question number 4 is having the answer d now the last question is in a stable ecosystem which of the following limits the number of tropic levels in a stable ecosystem which of the following limits the number of tropic levels as we know very well 
that the tropic levels T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5 they are limited we cannot think of that tropic level are more than the fifth tropic level or the T6 or the T7 or the T8 or the T9 or the T10 no tropic levels are up to T4 or T5 now the question arises that why the ecosystem in the stable ecosystems the number of tropic levels are limited so because of the biomass no number of nutrients no third one is availability of nutrients yes the answer perfect answer is the availability of the nutrients because as the tropic level will increase the availability of the nutrients will be decreased so in a stable ecosystem which of the following limits the number of the tropic levels so the number of the tropic level is limited by the availability of the nutrients so question number fifth is having the answer that is c so i mark the answer c okay so these were the some important questions based on the ecology this was part 2 we will be coming soon with many more new questions which were asked in the previous examinations related to the ecology so keep watching and if you want to take a screenshot you can take